Good morning, y'all. Another beautiful day. We got long sleeves on. It's nice, crisp, 57 degrees, and it. Yes. Feels good, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, uh, I just. What? But my legs are cold. Yeah. But I don't care. <laughs> I just got off work this morning. No, oh, I look a little rough. I need to shave. But it has been one week since we put. Well, since Zoe put the duck eggs underneath our broody hen kuna so we're gonna walk out there we got the flashlight and our coffee so we're gonna walk out there we're gonna candle them see if they're if anything is going on with them if not of course we'll pull them because there's there's no real point in her sitting on them if nothing's happening um, there's a possibility that they are fertile because of the boy duck doing his boy things. But I'm also kind of curious, um, just because, I mean, he's he's young, so I just don't know. I don't know. All right, so Zoe grabbed the first egg. So let's see if we can't see. I can't see anything. Like, I don't really know how this works. Oh. Duck! I know y'all, I don't know if you can see that. What? What is it? But we have... What is it? Can you... We've got veins in there. <gasps> so that's Ducky, a good sign. Ducky, Ducky. So that one Hi, is fertile. Ducky! So, I'm going to try to hold, hold a flashlight. Ducky! Let me grab the other egg. Okay, got it. <laughs> Okay, here's a second one. This is kind of exciting. So what is it? Yeah. Hey, stop. We've got... Try to let it focus. There you go. Looks like we've got some veins in there too. So that's awesome. I mean, this is what Zoe wanted. And um, Okuna is it's our good girl. Mm -hmm. Good girl, Kuna. I'm gonna pet my Kuna. She's even when she's broody, she's still sweet. She she'll she'll squawk at us. Let's leave her alone. We've probably stressed her out a little bit. You did good, Howard. Howard, you, you did good. Good, great. So, well, that's a surprise. I he's chasing Zoe around. So, Howard is has created little babies. Um, I did. I was doing some research on um, on these white ducks, the American Pekin ducks, and from what I was reading, they're not very um, they're not very broody. That's my coffee. Chicken's trying to chicken. Yeah, she did. Was that tasty? Yeah, she did. Yeah, tasty. <laughs> you got dirt in it. Ew. I like coffee too. <laughs> I like coffee too, chicken. <laughs> but you no, know, he was, did his boy thing, and Zoe wanted to try to hatch a couple eggs. So now it looks like looks like they're doing good. We'll leave them alone. Like I said, it's been a week. So we'll probably candle them one more time, uh, probably next week. But I read that you're not supposed to do it after 14 days because it can introduce bacteria onto the egg and it might get in there and hurt the, the development. So, but we're, we're pretty excited, aren't we? Yeah, ducky! So I didn't necessarily want to hatch ducks, but Zoe did. <laughs> and it's it's a good learning experience. Um, we have had uh, yeah. chicks before, yeah. Yeah. and she learned a lot from that. That's when she was younger, so um, now it's a little bit more hands-on, letting her learn and and find out more about the process and and how it works. And yeah. so, Kuna was hatched here. She's one of the chicks that we hatched, um, and. 
So she's been with us for the longest. She's our, our old lady. She's never really been broody before, so I think the fact that Howard is around, um, I might have triggered something in her. I don't know, but she's doing good. I am, you know, makes her happy. But we'll see what the outcome is. I'm, I mean, I'm a little excited. This is, it's always neat to be able to do stuff like this. I mean, we love. Who, who doesn't love babies? Course. Hey, that, that, look, that's cool. Look at the camera. Uh, yeah, it's the light shining. Yeah. Right, right here. It's not shining. I know. Right here it is. Yeah. I think that's so, cool. We'll see. Like I said, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I got a lady I work with who requested some 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 duck eggs that she wants to incubate. So I wasn't real positive if the ones that we were getting were possibly possibly fertilized or not now we know that there's a high chance that they are so as soon as she's ready for them then we'll start gathering them and, and getting them ready for her um, that's just that's, another just another thing to do on the homestead there's a 2500 percent chance that they will hatch that's a big that's a big percent chance there's, well, always, there's always a percent chance that they won't so you have to realize that too um I say uh, 10% chance that they're not going to hatch? No, I don't know about 10%. Yes. Yeah. Because we've already got good growth. Well, five. I'm going to say 90, yeah, 95% chance we're going to hatch some baby ducks. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is it's starting to get cooler. Um, so we'll definitely have to get some heat lamp, get a heat lamp on them and stuff. I'm not positive yet if we're going to let Kuna be mommy or if we're going to take them, figure that part out. I don't know if we're gonna keep them either. Hey, I'm gonna keep them. Wait, I don't know. That's all later to come. So stick with us and we'll update you on, on how it goes and what happens. But it's cool, it's a cool experiment. We've never, that's actually the first time I've, I've candled an egg before. So it's cool to be able to bring, to let Zoe see it and, and explain it to her too. So, hey, this is what it's all about. And we're learning every single day. I'm gonna go inside. It's time for me to get some sleep so I can go to work tonight also. But we appreciate you hanging out with us. Catch you in the next one. Catch you in the next one.